Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 36th question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24 Additional Practice Questions for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041, Section E, where each question is of 4 marks. Now, this question is from the Arithmetic Progression Chapter, and this question has 3 sub questions. The third sub question also has an OR option, that is, you can choose either of the two. And the first sub question is of 1 mark, second sub question is of 1 mark, and third sub question is of 2 marks. So let us start solving this example. An interior designer, Sana, hired two painters, Manan and Bhima, to make paintings for her buildings. Both painters were asked to make 50 different paintings each. So there are two painters hired by Sana, and each painter is assigned 50 different paintings to paint. The prizes quoted by both the painters are given below. So the price quoted by Manan is rupees 6000 for the first painting and for the consecutive paintings he is going to charge 200 more. That is for the second painting he is going to charge 6200. For the third painting again it is going to increment by 200. That is 6400 and so on. And the second painter which is Bhima has asked for a price of rupees 4000 for the first painting and he has incremented the next painting and the consecutive paintings by 400 means the first painting is for 4000 then the second painting is going to be 400 more that is 4400 then the third painting is going to be 4800 and so on so let us concentrate on the first sub question that is how much money did Manan get for his 25th painting show your work so let us start with the first one. Now here I have rewritten the first question that is how much money did Manan get for his 25th painting? Show your work. Now the given things are the number of paintings assigned to Manan is 50. And Manan asked for rupees 6000 for the first painting and an increment of 200 for each following painting. So as I was saying it forms a sequence. So let me write down the sequence over here. So the sequence formed is the first painting he charged 6000, second painting is 200 more than the previous one that is 6200, then the third painting is again 200 more than the previous painting that is 6400 and so on. It goes on. So he has to find out what is the value or money he gets for the 25th painting. So first painting he got 6000. Second painting he got 6200, third painting, fourth painting and so on. So we have to find out how much he gets paid for the 25th painting, this value. So as we can see that the sequence follows arithmetic progression, we are going to make use of the nth term of AP formula. So let me write over here. Since the sequence forms an AP, we have the formula to calculate the money he receives for his 25th painting as the nth term of an AP which is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Now what is this a, n and d? Now a is the first term of the sequence. So here our first term of the sequence is 6000. So let us write here 6000 for a. And next nth term of sequence. Here we have to find out how much is going to get paid for the 25th painting. So n is going to be 25 and the common difference that is we have to find out the difference between each term so 6200 minus 6000 gives you 200 so 6400 minus 6200 again gives you 200 and it continues so here we have the common difference as 200 now simply we have to plug in the values of all these three in this formula to get the value or the money he gets for his 25th painting so let me substitute over here. So here in this formula we are going to write A as 6000 plus N is 25 minus 1 times D. D is 200. So let us simplify this further. So we have here 6000 plus 25 minus 1 is 24 times 200. So further simplifying this we get 6000 plus 24 times 2 gives us 48 and this is 4800 so this is going to give us a total of 10800 rupees so let me write here rupees 10800 
So for his 25th painting, he is going to be paid 10,800. Now let us move on to the second sub question. How much money did Bhima get in all? Show your work. Now this question asks us to find out the total amount he has been paid for the 50 paintings assigned. So get in all means the total amount. So here the given things about Bhima are number of paintings assigned to Bhima were 50 paintings in total. And Bhima asked for rupees 4000 for the first painting and an increment of 400 for each of the following painting. So here let us write down the sequence. So for the first painting he is going to charge 4000 and for the consecutive paintings that is for the second painting for example he is charging 400 more than the previous payment. So the second payment for the second painting is 4400, 4800, 5200 and so on. So this accumulates till 50 paintings. So here since we have to find the total of the amount we are going to make use of the series that is 4000 plus 4400 plus 4800 and so on. So let me write down the series here. So this question in particular belongs to the series. And this is an arithmetic progression. As you can see the difference between the two terms is 400 always. So there is a common difference. And we are going to use series that's why we are going to make use of the sum of the series formula. So let me write over here. So total sum of the prices of the 50 paintings is given by Sn that is sum of prices of 50 paintings is equal to n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Now here what is a what is n and what is d? a as we know it is going to be the first term of the sequence or the series. So here our first term is 4000 and then next is n. n is the total number of paintings he is painted that is 50 as assigned and d is the common difference as we know the difference is 400 over here. So let us substitute here now 50 over 2 in the bracket 2 times 4000 plus 50 minus 1 times 400. So let us simplify this further 50 over 2 gives us 25 and 2 times 4000 is 8000 plus 50 minus 1 is 49 times 400. So solving this further we are going to get here 25 times 8000 plus 49 times 400 gives us 19600 and adding these two in the bracket we get 25 times 27600. So this is going to give us rupees 6,90,000. So this is how much Bhima is going to get paid for painting 50 paintings. Now let us move on to the third sub question. If both Manan and Bhima make paintings at the same pace, find the first painting for which Bhima will get more money than Manan. Show your steps. Now the meaning of the question is Manan and Bhima are making the paintings at the same pace. So for example, if Manan has made two paintings, Bhima also has completed two paintings. If Manan has completed 10 paintings, then Bhima also has completed 10 paintings. So for one of the paintings, both Manan and Bhima are going to get paid exactly the same amount. So we need to find out which is the painting where Manan and Bhima are getting paid the exact same amount. So let me write over here. At some point, Bhima and Manan gets paid the same amount. The painting for which Bhima and Manan get paid the same is. So if you are talking about the same amount, the nth term of Manan should be equal to the nth term of Bhima for the amount they are getting paid. So let me write over here. Manan's nth painting amount is equal to Bhima's nth painting amount. N is the painting for which they both are getting the same amount. Now here for Manan's nth painting amount, I have written the formula a plus n minus 1 times d. And for Bhima, I have taken it as b plus n minus 1 times d. Now a is the first term for Manan's sequence. And Manan's first term in the sequence was 6000. Common difference was 200. And for Bhima, the first term was 4000. And common difference was 400. So let me substitute here. So 6000 plus n minus 1 times 200 
is equal to 4000 plus n minus 1 times 400. Now we are going to solve this by opening up the brackets and we get 6000 plus 200 multiplies with n giving us plus 200 n and 200 multiplies with negative 1 giving us negative 200. Similarly on this side 4000 plus 400 multiplies with n giving us 400 n and 400 multiplies with negative 1 giving us minus 400. Now we are going to gather the like terms on one side of the equal to sign that is the n terms we will take on one side of the equal to sign and the numbers on the other side. So let me write here. So 6000 minus 200. So 4000 we have taken on this side so it becomes minus 4000 and minus 400 I have taken on this side it becomes plus 400 is equal to 400n and plus 200n goes on the other side of equal to sign and becomes minus 200n. Now further solving this we get so adding all these numbers together we get it as 2200 is equal to subtracting 400 minus 200 gives us 200n and to find n we are going to divide 2200 by 200. So two zeros from the denominator cancels two zeros from the numerator and it becomes 22 over 2 so 2 1 times and 2 11 times. So we get the value of n as 11 which means it is the 11th painting where Manan and Bhima are going to get paid exactly the same amount. So here in the question it's mentioned that if both Manan and Bhima make paintings at the same pace, find the first painting for which Bhima will get more money than Manan. So for the 11th painting they have got exactly the same amount. So let us find out for the next painting how much each one of them are going to get paid. So to find Manan's 12th painting amount, we are again going to use the nth term of an AP formula, a plus n minus 1 times d. So the first term in Manan's sequence was 6000, n is going to be 12 and the common difference was 200. So let me substitute here. So 6000 plus 12 minus 1 times 200. So let us solve this further. So we get here. So 6000 plus 12 minus 1 is 11 times 200. Further simplifying this 6000 plus 11 times 200 gives us 2200 and adding these two we get it as rupees 8200. So Manan's 12th painting amount is 8200. Now let us find out how much Bhima is going to get paid for the 12th painting. So here we have solved Bhima's 12th painting amount. So we are going to make use of the formula b plus n minus 1 times d again where b is first term of Bhima sequence which was 4000 plus since we are finding the amount for 12th painting so n becomes 12 so 12 minus 1 times 400 solving this 4000 plus 12 minus 1 becomes 11 times 400 so 4000 plus 11 times 400 is 4400 and adding them together we get it as rupees 8400. So by comparison we can easily see that Bhima is getting paid higher than Manan for the 12th painting. So we are going to conclude it by saying that since both Manan and Bhima earn the same amount for the 11th painting, as Bhima's increment is more, Bhima gets more money than Manan for the 12th painting. Now if we look at this calculation, Manan was charging 200 more per painting whereas Bhima was charging 400 more. So the increment charged by Bhima is higher. So it is not necessary to solve and compare the amounts. Just by looking at the increments you can decide whether Manan gets paid higher or Bhima. So by chance if you want to verify whether the answers are correct or not, you can go ahead to check the amounts earned by each one for the 12th painting. So here we have written, because the increment of Bhima is more, Bhima gets more money than Manan for the 12th painting. Now let us look at the OR question. Sana's friend Aarti hired Manan and Bhima to make paintings for her at the same rates as for Sana. Aarti had both painters make same number of paintings and paid them exact same amount in total. How many paintings did Aarti get each painter to make? Show your work. 
Now in this question Sana's friend Aarti has hired Mananan Bhima to make paintings for her and she is paying the same amount as it was quoted earlier by Mananan Bhima Now the next thing they have given is same number of paintings should be painted by Mananan Bhima and same amount is paid to both of them Now how many paintings did Aarti tell Manan and Bhima to make each So since here they have said that Aarti paid them exact same amount in total that means total amount paid to manan will be equal to total amount paid to bhima so let us write here manan's total amount is equal to bhima's total amount and since total amount is mentioned we are going to use the sum of the series formula for the arithmetic progression so for manan's total amount i have taken as sm and for bhima's total amount i have assigned as sp Now the sum of the series formula for an arithmetic progression is n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Now I have made an expression for Manan's total amount and Bhima's total amount and I have equated them both equally. Now here for Bhima I have taken it as n over 2 2 times b plus n minus 1 d. Now once I have written this I can cancel off the n over 2 and n over 2 from both the sides. because total number of paintings assigned to both of them are same so n remains the same the other thing they have given is manan and bhima quoted the same prices as they had quoted to sana so for manan a which is the first term of the sequence is going to be 6000 and d was the common difference which was 200 and for bhima b was the first term of the sequence which was 4000 and d was 400 so let me substitute over here So two times six thousand plus n minus one times d is two hundred is equal to two times four thousand plus n minus one times four hundred. The next step is we are going to expand the brackets by multiplying two hundred with n minus one and four hundred with n minus one. So two times six thousand gives us twelve thousand plus two hundred multiplies with n giving us two hundred n two hundred multiplies with minus one giving us minus two hundred. Is equal to two times four thousand is eight thousand plus four hundred times n is four hundred n and four hundred times minus one is minus four hundred. Now the next step is to separate the n terms on one side of the equal to sign and only numbers that are constants on the other side. So here we have taken twelve thousand minus two hundred, bringing eight thousand on this side plus eight thousand becomes minus eight thousand. And minus four hundred. Let us take it on this side. It turns into plus four hundred, equal to four hundred n, and plus two hundred n goes on the other side and becomes minus two hundred n. Now further solving this, we get so adding all these numbers together, we get it as four thousand two hundred, equal to four hundred minus two hundred is two hundred n. Now to find n, we are going to divide four thousand two hundred by two hundred. So here. The two zeros cancel again, and two one time, and two twenty one times. So n is equal to twenty one, which means the number of paintings assigned to each Manan and Bhima are twenty one paintings. That is, Manan will paint twenty one paintings, and Bhima will paint twenty one paintings separately. So we are going to conclude by writing: Manan and Bhima paint twenty one paintings each. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.